This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. Got it. Shut up. What's happening here? <gasps> Incredible. This tech is such bollocks. that. One down, bring on another.
That's it for the encryptors. You can now upload the virus using the central antenna. Got it. We're off to the races. I'm reading incoming drones. Please, not Themis. No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. I know it's big and intimidating as antennas go, but you have to stay close to it for the virus upload to work. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours on. driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan, and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Nigel Cass has enough soldiers and weaponry to make Churchill wet himself. He has the public on his side, and he has us painted as terrorists. I'm afraid us going straight after him won't change any of that. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing. Oh my, I am rather good at this DedSec business, aren't I? You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. You sure know how to sweet talk a gentleman. Don't worry about Bagsy. You get used to his side commentary. Mad job, cut.
Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. Oh, Cass is good. He spends his entire career killing anyone he sees as the enemy. And then when they strike back, he cries like a little boy. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. Actually, a few of us cooked up a scheme that could help. Bagley. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired, so all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? I think an alliance is in order. We give her intelligence, and she gives our cause a signal boost. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something.
used to broadcast from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. A woman that sharp will have enemies in high places, and they won't have any problem finding her. Let's get to her first. Such a tragic waste of human life. She had her whole life ahead of her, but no, someone had to snuff her out. Damn them. I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. I suppose you're right. Justice must be served. Time for a look around. Looks like a parade walked through here. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Albion's shoemaker, I'll wager. This graffiti is rather on the nose, wouldn't you say? Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang, they shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Clan Kelly doesn't exactly market themselves like this. Something doesn't sit right here. Only thing left behind is Claire's tablet. Scan it, please tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <laughs> you security, drop your weapons! <laughs> you can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. Do. No. Take that wall, then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's gotta be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. This is the dirt we need to take down Cass for good finally get some justice for Claire, the whistleblower, everyone else that Cass has hurt or killed. But I keep thinking about what the Albion trigger man said. Carousel. That must refer to Carousel Plaza, Albion's propaganda library. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. The stolen evidence is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. Right you are. But after what we found at Freight One, I'd say those guards could use a good spanking. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? Aha, hacker cherry falls. GBB reporting. Disturbance detected. Beginning investigation. Ah. Wait, what? Oh! We warned you about trespassing, yeah? That's right. Didn't learn your lesson, huh? Please, I was just taking a picture of the exterior for... Oh, did you hear that, mate? He was taking a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody picture! 
Nellie, final warning to you. If we ever see you coming around here again, the police are going to have to put out a missing persons report. And I think you know how effective they are these days, yeah? Oh, I understand. Thirsty for the truth? Wet your whistle with Claire Waters. Let's talk Sky. Sky Larson. Who is she anyway? What's on the agenda for Broker Tech? And what, more importantly, is Project Daybreak? So long as there are questions, I'll be looking for answers. found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
try somewhere else. Well, I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool. This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tag teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Now Scarper or they'll kill you for sure. Oh god. Your trick won't work on me. a voice that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there to the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the topping we needed. 